guys. So we are doing a standing show today. Max made me a standing desk. My tailbone is killing me for whatever reason. Who knows what I did to it? So not sitting down today. So we're going to try this standing up and see how it goes. Raise Linda up so that you can see her a little bit better. My name is Christy with Putting on the Glitz, if you haven't been on the show before. Um, hi, Daisy. Good to see you over there. So the way this works is everything is $5. I keep your purchases all week, add them up on Monday, send you an invoice, and then once you pay that, I ship them out on Tuesday. So the things you buy tonight and the things you bought buy potentially on Sunday, you can put together. Hi, Marjorie. Hi, Shannon. You got Daisy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Caitlin is here helping me today. Max is putting up a screen in our backyard for the projector. So this should be interesting. It's Friday night cookout night for us. So we get a movie outside. Hi, Aunt Dora. Hi, Mom. Hi, Terry. I see you over there with your crafty account. <laughs> you can't sneak by me that easily. All right. So I've got a few new things for you today. I pulled some old favorites off the backboard and from the shelves in the back. So we've got a, quite a few things to look through. I have some earrings for you, especially uh, Miss Daisy over there that likes the sparkly dangly earrings. I pulled some out that are sparkly and dangly just for you. So we will go ahead and get started. For the shorter necklaces tonight, I'm going to use my beige background because it's a little easier to hold up than the large white leather bust. This one is called Daring Diva in pink. So this is a hot pink bead. It's a pearly bead. And then we have one, two, three layers of large loopy chain underneath this. This is a really cute necklace if you have hot pink to wear it with. I have two of these available. Our earrings are small silver rings on a fish hook back. I'm going to put this on Linda. It's a little bit easier for me to get them on Linda since I don't have to <laughs> hold my arms up. My arms are sore for some reason, my shoulders. So this is the way it lays on Linda, about two and a half inches below her collar, hanging about mid chest. And then with the two inch extension, you could make it lay right down here on the bust. So this one is Daring Diva in pink. And if I can grab the card, it's number one. Yes, um, actually, uh, Acacia has some citronella torches, the tiki torches. So they worked pretty well last time. Hi, Esley. Oh, look, she's even saying hi to Linda. Caitlin's here, too. You just can't see her. Hi, Tracy. Tracy's on Instagram. We're doing pink to start with tonight. I don't know why I have the things that were in pink kind of grouped together, so where we're at. This one is a touch of classy in that bright hot pink. Let's see if I can get it even there. There we go. So these are bright pink pearly beads all along the chain up here. And then we have mixed bright pink pearly beads and white rhinestones down along that bottom edge. I have three of these available. The earrings are the bright pink pearly beads on a fish hook back. So this one's about half an inch below Linda's collar. With the extension, it's going to come down here right about the top of the bust. Esley said hi to you, Caitlin. So this one is a touch of classy. Daisy said hi too. She's waving. <laughs> She's her own celebrity here. This is number two. There you go. I told you, I really have the pink together and I don't know what is up with that, but it just, that's how it worked out. This one, for those of you that don't already have it, is One Woman Show. This is in a light pink. So these are light pink pearly beads, small strands of these, I believe it's four, yes. Four twisted strands of the light pink pearly beads on that bottom, larger light pink pearly beads and a light pink crystal type bead in between those. 
number two to mom. The earrings are the light pink pearly beads as well on a fish hook back. I have two of these remaining. This one is about an inch and a quarter below Linda's collar with the two inch extension that's going to bring it down to about the top of the bust. So this is one woman show. And it is number three. So we are having ribs and chicken at the cookout tonight. What is everybody else having for dinner? I just know by that time I'm going to be hungry. I don't really eat ribs. Ribs are not my thing. I like boneless ribs. They don't like playing with my food. So ribs kind of annoy me. I don't like to work that hard for my meat. This one is a one and done. So I only have one of these left. This is called look into your heart in silver salmon that sounds good this one is made to look like silver filigree it's little cutouts in kind of a vine design inside this silver heart frame our earrings are also the little silver hearts so nice match nice sized earrings to come free with the necklace this is a cord type chain turkey sandwich that sounds good too it's too hot to eat a whole lot this one is about an inch below that collar with the two inch extension. You can bring it down here to the top of the bust. That's where the bottom of that heart would be. So this one is look into your heart. Look into your heart. And it is going to be number four tonight. Chicken fingers and garlic pasta. That sounds awesome. We've been experimenting with some of the meal kits lately. Have you guys tried any of those? My kids have nights to cook as well as my husband, and they're not as experienced in the kitchen. Um, plus, we get bored, you know, of eating the same things over and over again. So I've bought some of the meal kits lately. I won't mention the company so that they don't deem me for promoting somebody other than paparazzi. But they've been really pretty good, and the kids said fairly easy. All right, this one is let the festivities begin. This is in blue. So this is a nice sky blue. They're calling it Elsa blue. Hi, Marlo. Good afternoon. Marlo has snow and about 27 degrees today. Oh, Tracy, you starve the children instead? Good for you. So this is a mixture of blue bees. They're a size, they're different sizes is what I meant to say. They have the crystal cut on them. Yeah, so they look icy like the Elsa blue. And the earrings are also that light blue, the crystal cut beads. They're just hanging in clusters around this chain. So it's really a pretty thick necklace, but it's not heavy. This one's gonna lay right about at that collar. You can see, you can barely see that collar peeking out above there. So with a two inch extension, you could bring that down about mid chest and have it lay right across here instead. Yeah, I thought it was pretty too, mom. That's why I bought it. So this is let the festivities begin. I can't, too tiny to stop. In Elsa blue, <laughs> number five. You have so many blue necklaces, you're gonna let it go. That's funny, Ashley. It's in Elsa blue, so she's letting it go. I can't let the festivity begin because you messed me up. <laughs> she lives in Montana, Aunt Dora. She lives in Lewistown, Montana, which is about an hour and a half from Billings. A little bit further north, northeast of there. All right. So, ready for our first question. I'm going to play some Family Feud, have a little bit of fun. Um... We're going to take answer number five on this one. Name something that can cause an argument when you're playing a board game. Something that can cause an argument when you're playing a board game. And this is answer number five out of six.
cheating is number one. That's why I couldn't pick that one because that's too, too obvious. Being the banker. That one is not on here, but it should be. Because usually when you're the banker, that's how it goes. Um, miscounting. I'm trying to decide which one that should be. I guess we're going to go with wrong move on that one. That would be number six. Moving out of turn is number two. Someone taking your turn. That's probably still playing out of turn. Whose turn is up? Counting money wrong. That one's not on here. Slow player. Oh, that definitely should have been on there. They did not put that one on here. Kind of goes with cheating. Not losing. I can tell it's been a little while since we've played a board game, especially with kids. <laughs> Need to play a, cute, a few more board games with kids and then come back and uh, answer this question. Marlo, bumping the board was number three or tipping it over. So that was number three. Number four is a double jump. We have not gotten number five yet. It has to do with the rules. Who's out? What might you do with the rules? That's going to start an argument. Or sometimes we just do it for fun. Not breaking the rules. Ignoring the rules. Changing the rules. There we go, Leslie. Changing or making up a rule. All right. Let's do some earrings. So these are fierce fundamentals. I have them in black and I have them in rose gold. So Daisy, does Esley change the rules? I just want to know. I don't want to start any arguments. So these are a polished oval, a little thicker at the bottom than they are at top, not oval, teardrop. I don't know what I'm talking about. Polished teardrop, a little thicker at the bottom than they are at the top. These are in a very pretty rose gold on a rose gold fish hook back. These are in the black metal on that black fish hook back. This is the size of these earrings. Give you an idea what they'll look like. Hi, Helen. I have four that are in the rose gold and I have one remaining in the black. Didn't order as many of the black and I probably should have. These are number six fierce fundamentals in black or in rose gold. Don't play with Daisy. She has to win. Just saying. Oh, so we're learning something about Daisy tonight, too. So apparently, Esley makes up rules and Daisy has to win. I don't know if we're going to play with either of you. <laughs> we're going to play nice. Marlo says, my house, my rules. Thank you, Mom. I like this one, too. This is a little bit older, so I don't have any of these. I actually bought this one from someone else. This is Sparkle Splurge in white so we have white pearly beads in this middle row and on the inside and the outside of it those are white rhinestones so we've got a nice amount of sparkle and shine in these helen i think you might have the rose gold already but we'll put you down for both and i'll verify that so helen would like one of each of the of the number six so the black is sold out this is the size So these are Sparkle Splurge in white. I just have one pair of these left. These are number seven. Well, Daisy at least is over, 
uh, owning up to it. She says she's a bit competitive. Terry is admitting over here on Instagram, so I'm going to make sure that it's public over here that she always cheats when she can. <laughs> Remind me to let you play with my kids. All right, these are radiating refinement in gold. So we've got double circles of gold that are studded with these white rhinestones. So a very pretty white and gold combination. This is my last pair of these. They are welded together. These are not freely moving circles inside each other. So this is the size of these. Very pretty when they catch the light. Radiating refinement. It's number eight. Yep, we try not to double sell you, Helen. I could probably get away with it, but it wouldn't happen too many times and then you'd just stop buying from me. <laughs> So I try to keep track. All right, these are Winter Garden in brown or in a midnight blue. Let's so get those a little bit closer. So we kind of have an open lacy teardrop studded with rhinestones. They're either that gold topaz or the midnight blue. Let me turn these a little bit because they're catching the light over here. Just have one pair of blue. I've got two pair of the gold topaz. This is the size. Yes, you have my other pair that was in blue. These are winter garden in the blue or in the gold topaz, which is brown, number nine. Number 10. These are very simple, but very pretty. These are called trickle down effect. These are just solitaire white rhinestones. They're not in a setting. They're just hooked by these little links. Looks like five of them hanging down from the top on a silver fish hook back. This is the size. I like these because since they're not in a setting, they're going to really catch the light when you're outside because the light will be able to go all the way through them. I did not see sold number five. We'll get it for you, Marjorie. She would like number five. She's already out. She's already, okay, Caitlin got it. She just didn't tell me. So these are number 10, trickle down effect in white. She can see the Facebook and the uh, YouTube feed over here. So hopefully she'll catch it if I don't, but make sure we, acknowledge it so that we can make sure we got it at least. All right, we'll do a few longer necklaces now. See, I might have to back Linda up for these. I'm finding that these are actually a little easier on the smaller board because I can hold them up a little bit better. They don't slide. So this one is Get a Rome. R-O-A-M. Get a Rome. So we have a divided circle. It's brushed in a linear fashion. So we have little lines going down through this circle. Let's see if I can show that to you. There we go. See the little lines in it. <laughs> Justice says you need a jewelry room. Well, tell him to get busy. These are yellow crackle stone beads, tiny ones. Yes, I am standing. My tailbone is killing me. And a delicate chain fringe on the bottom in silver. The earrings are also that delicate chain fringe with a couple of those little yellow crackle beads up at the top. They're on a fish hook back. Question? What was your question? Whether you have those in blue? You do have, if that was your question. All right, this one. Move Linda back a little bit. There we go. You can see it's hanging down to this dropped waist. You do have that two inch extension. You could drop it down into this lower belly if you wanted to. This is a sliding chain. It's a very delicate sliding chain. Um, I'm not sure if it would fit, but you could attempt to pull it up and double it. Oh, I missed a question. Yes, you're right. I just did. Thank you. 
because we're at number 11. This is Get a Rome in yellow. Hi, Jane. And this is going to be number 11. I have two of these. Caitlin, you're supposed to remind me. She's going to get fired too. She's hot. It's hot today. I don't know if the humidity is up or if it's just hot, but either way, I'm dying. Okay, we're going to take answer number three on this question. You're doing Max's job. That's great. Somebody should do Max's job. Caitlin's doing most of it. <laughs> Name a musical instrument you do not blow into. A musical instrument you do not blow into. We're looking for the third most popular answer. Yeah, I tried sitting on my cushion and it just didn't, it's not working. So I decided to just stand for tonight. Jane got it right off the bat, drums. Drums was number three. Piano was number two. Uh, violin was number four. And guitar was number one. See, that was an easier one. We got a quick answer on that one. Of course, only having four answers helps. All right, this is a mid-length necklace. Yep, I'm standing today. Should we have the discussion about my tailbone again? I It feels like I bruised it or something, and I don't know how, because I don't remember doing anything to it, but whatever, right? This is as moon as I can. This is the one that is in rose gold. So we have rose gold crescents down here at the bottom and a peachy colored faceted bead. It's okay. We've talked about it probably about four times already, Jane. It's fine. So it's a peachy colored faceted bead in the center of these. And then we have the chain tassel at the bottom. Our earrings are those rose gold chain tassels as well. I had one, Terry. It didn't help. And I haven't been sitting that much lately, so I don't think it's from that. So this one, you can see, goes over the middle of the bust with the two-inch extension. That's going to bring it down here into upper to mid-abdomen if you use all of that extension. That's why I included this with the long ones because it's somewhere between short and long. So this one is as moon as I can in rose gold. Just have one of these left. It's going to be number 12. Oh, Helen, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. I have never had this happen before. Um, in fact, it's never felt like that before. Even when I had sciatica, it didn't feel bruised. This is the first time it's felt like I bruised it. And it started after I went to someone's house and sat on a piece of their outdoor furniture and it was comfortable. But that's the only thing that I did that day right before it started. So I don't know. Helen would like number 12. Don't know what's going on with it. It's been a couple days. So. All right. I have two of these. This is also a long necklace. This is called artisan artifact. So these, this is crackle stone. So we have some little donut shaped pieces in that red crackle stone and also some round beads in the crackle stone. And then we have these, I call them fish hook lures. That's what they look like to me. Anybody else think they look like fish hook lures? They're in a hammered silver. They're kind of an oval that's a little bit asymmetrical. And then there's a smaller one down here. We've got some large oval loops as the chain. The earrings are the red crackle beads as well, the round ones. I think I mentioned I have two of these. This is the way it lays. So we're about an inch away from that dropped waist, which means if you use a two inch extension, it's gonna go just an inch past that dropped waist. You also could fasten into this chain if you wanted to shorten it a little bit 
and have more like that mid-length necklace, you could definitely do that as well. So this one is Artisan Artifact in red with that nice crackling in the stone. And it is number 13. The other advantage to me standing is that, not necessarily on this show, although I'll do it for you, but if we wanted to have like a viewer's choice show where you asked to see things that were on the board, it would be much easier for me to turn around and grab them. So it does give me a little bit more freedom of movement while I'm doing the show. So there's that advantage too. All right, I showed the blue version of this the other night. This is the purple version. This is called All About Me. We have these wavy beads. They look just like a wave to me. And they are not flat, they are actually curved. Has some large silver ovals. And then we have the purple pearly beads as well as some little silver cage beads. You know, I love my cage beads. Just have one of these. The earrings are the purple pearly beads on a fish hook back. Yes, this is a very pretty style. No matter what color you buy it in, it's still pretty. So this one, your beads are gonna start, let's see. We make it even. There we go. Your beads are going to start right here above the bust. Hi, Jasmine. It's going to end down here right below that dropped waist. You do have that two-inch extension, so you could bring that down more into the lower belly. Yes, I did say the P word. I did. I'm sorry. And it wasn't panda. <laughs> you can also shorten it a little bit by hooking into that chain with your lobster clasp. Pull it up a little bit more so that the more of the beads are seen at the top for when you're on your Zoom meeting, so you want it to be seen. So I've got one of these left. This is all about me in Panda. No. Yes, Helen asks us to call it Panda because she triggers at the word purple. This is number 14. <laughs> Caitlin's laughing over here, Helen. I just thought I'd tell you that. You can yell at her if you want to. I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> All right. Use the black one for this so that it shows up a little bit better. This is Unstoppable Glamour in purple. Oh, sorry, Panda. <laughs> Unstoppable Glamour in Panda. So this is a Panda <laughs> colored rhinestone, faceted, oval. In the center, we have a silver oval up here studded with rhinestones. Caitlin has dissolved in giggles over here. <laughs> I'm not sure she can type anymore. I just have one of these remaining. This one has a mixed chain tassel at the bottom. So we've got a couple different grades of chain down there. Terry says you're just going to have to deal with it. Oh, no, she's saying that to Helen. I'm sorry. It felt better to say it to Caitlin. The earrings are the silver tassels on a fish hook back. Desmond said, be good, he's gonna give you a kiss. Does it have something better to do? <laughs> this one is about half an inch below that dropped waist with the extension. It's gonna move down into that lower belly area. This one has that sliding chain and it's a nice size chain. So you would be able to hook into that if you wanted to and shorten it a little bit. Okay, Terry's right. So we're going to actually call it its name. This is Unstoppable Glamour. And it is in purple. Number 15. Now, if you start experiencing post-traumatic stress, please let us know, Helen. Because we don't want any of that going on. Let's see, what do we have good? <laughs> okay, this one's kind of fun. Number 15 is Helen. Okay. You got her already. Look at that. How efficient you are. <laughs> She's efficient. She just can't stop giggling. It's the age. Name something magicians try to escape from. We're going to take answer number three on this one. 
in something magicians try to escape from. I've seen, I think I've seen all but one of these. There's actually six answers available. No stress. <laughs> Handcuffs was number four. You're close, Jane. Boxes, that was number one. Fire wasn't on here. I haven't seen that. Mom actually got it over there. It is water. So a water tank or other type of water. That was number three. The straight jacket. That was the one that I have not seen. So that was the only one I hadn't seen on here. A cage was number six. A tank filled with sharks. I'm not sure that you'd really want to escape from something that was keeping you away from the sharks. Scarves, I hadn't seen that. That one wasn't on here. I think chains was the only one that somebody didn't guess. Unless it's snuck up here. Oops, I just made my thing very, very small. <laughs> Can't read it like that. Why is it doing that? Okay, yeah, chains. That should not be doing that. Okay, so it was a water tank. Gonna have to watch somebody try to escape from a straight jacket, you know, in case I ever need to escape from a straight jacket. I want mine to be bedazzled, just in case you're wondering. So if you need to put me in a straight jacket, please get a glittery one. So I'll fill in my element. All right, these are only fame in town in white. So these are a large faceted oval rhinestone in the center, surrounded by smaller white rhinestones on the outside. The way they're faceted reminds me a little bit of a disco ball. So you definitely can't see yourself in there. Just have one pair of these remaining. This is the size. So these are only fame in town. Okay, number 16. Well, that explains a lot, Terry. She said her sound went out during the question, so she just started naming magician things. Just things that they escape from. All right, I have two pairs of these. They may not be sparkly, but they're shiny. They're called Garden Explorer in silver. Let me see if I can get that up a little bit closer. So they have kind of a flower motif going on in here and then hammered silver plates and then more hammered silver discs hanging from these little tassels. Let's see if I can get that, there we go. Got your flowers in close there. There we go, that's a good picture. This is the size of these. So I have two pairs of these available. They're called Garden Explorer in silver, number 17. Daisy would like a pair of those. What are you gonna do with a pair of those, Desmond? Are you gonna wear them? Next ones, these are set in gold. These are called All Rise for Her Majesty. This is a large teardrop shaped rhinestone right in the center. We have some round rhinestones underneath it and also around these two teardrop sized frames on a gold fish hook back. Number 10 or the last one, Desmond? The last one was number 17. This is the size of two pairs of these. All rise for her majesty in gold. They're number 18. Number 19, these are called Let It Slide in multi. So these are shades of brown and almost like a burgundy 
This one is almost like a burgundy, a reddish brown. And then we have one that's almost a cream color or an ivory. So these are little beads, polished beads on the bottom. They're on a gold wire and a gold fish hook back. This is the size. So we have two pairs of these. They're called Let It Slide. Let it slide in multi. They're going to be number 19. Still hot in here. They're killing me today. All right. These, I'm holding sideways. You see these? This is why. Because they're squares. So these are hoops that are silver squares. They're called Material Girl Magic. So these are post hoop. Our little post right there with the earring back. They're a fairly narrow silver square hoop. I thought these were a cool shape. We don't get hoops like this every day. So this is the size. Hi, Ruth. Thank you for sharing. It's our material girl magic in silver. Number 20. Okay, you want number 20, Desmond? What other number did you want? You put 10, but we were doing 17 at the time. So which one would you like? All right, let's do another question. Let's go with answer number four on this one. Number 20, also to um, Daisy. You meant 17, not 10. Okay. So he wants 17 and 20. I got he got She got it. Okay. She's reading the comments as you're making them. <laughs> so you have the same taste as Daisy. She also took 17 and 20. That should be scary for you, Daisy. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Answer number four on this one. Name something that performs better if it's warmed up first. Something that performs better if it's warmed up first. <laughs> Your hair? <laughs> Kayla says her hair. <laughs> mine doesn't. Mine just gets frizzy when it gets warmed up. Because there's usually humidity that comes with that or sweat or... Ooh, a voice. That's a good answer. That was not on here. Your brain? Yeah, tell me about it. A gymnast. That's a good one. Oven or stove was number three. Car was number one. You're being too specific. Your air conditioner, if it gets warmed up first. Okay. Muscles do work better. Got three answers still, and one of them is number four. A furnace, not a furnace. What else would you warm up before you use it? Number two was just people in general. The wood stove? Okay. Car was already mentioned. That was number one. Heating pad is good. Number four is a household appliance. At least for most people. I mean, there's a few that just refuse. There you go, Marjorie. Iron. Iron was number four. Yeah, have you ever tried to iron with a cold iron? I don't recommend it. That doesn't work all that well. Oh, shower is a good answer too, Jane. They should have asked you all these questions. The other answer that we don't have is oil. So you want to warm up your oil first if you're cooking. They should have specified cooking oil, but I guess all kinds of oil really do kind of work better if they're warm. So there we go. Jane says, oh, yeah, I don't use one. <laughs> okay, we'll let you pass on that one. Yes, a lava lamp works much better if it's warm. <laughs> we do have a few of those around here. So Caitlin keeps blowing out the light bulbs, so, you know. All right, this one is called Leading Lady. In white, Leading Lady. 
So these are white marquee shaped rhinestones. They go from smaller on the end to larger right in the middle. It's a symmetrical necklace. It is a bar type necklace. So these are all set in a silver bar. It has the cord type chain. The earrings are the small white rhinestones on a fish hook back. This is the length, so we're at about an inch and a quarter below that collar. Let's move her up since these are shorter. About an inch and a quarter below that collar, you see the shine? With the two inch extension, it's gonna fall about mid chest or top of the bust, just depending on how it fits you. I don't think so, Terry. This is something that just came out, but I know it's re-released, so I could have had it before but I don't think you have this one. I can search for it if you want to just claim it, if you want it. And if you've already claimed it before, I won't send it to you. But this is Leading Lady in white. And it is number 21. If you ever double claim something, I'm usually going to ask you if you wanted two of them because once in a while we do get somebody who wants to buy a second one for a gift for someone else. So if you're doing that, I don't want to take it away from you, but I want to make sure you know that you're getting two of them. So try to be respectful of your money and not send you doubles of things. After all, it takes time and energy to earn money, right? Got to be careful with what you do with it. That's why we sell $5 jewelry. Because there's no reason we should spend all our money just trying to look good. Caitlin says, <laughs> eh, maybe. All right, I just got one of these in. This is one that they sent me. I didn't order it. In fact, I don't remember seeing this one come out. <laughs> so maybe it was on the day I didn't order. This one is called... Oh, I didn't put the... I didn't put the label on it. I can't believe I didn't do that. Now I can't remember what it was called. Vixen something. So this is black and gold. Yes, I understand that, Desmond. But we're not trying to look cheap here. So these are black faceted teardrop beads against a gold chain fringe. And this has several different types of chain in it. So you can see the variation in the thicknesses of the chain there. That adds some interest to the piece. The earrings are the black faceted teardrop beads on a gold fish hook back. This is a short length necklace. Now let me get the fringe right. Much easier when you're putting it on yourself and you're fastening it in the back because then it lays right automatically. When I put it over Linda's head, it or headless doesn't work all that well. All right, this is about an inch below that collar. With your two inch extension, you could bring that down. That's gonna put the bottom of it right here and the top of it right about here. So you'll be looking at the lower chest rather than the upper chest there. So this one, whatever its name is, I'll find it later, is number 22. 22 and just one of these available. And it's also a little bit on the heavy side. Where's everybody at tonight? Is it too warm outside? Oh no, Shannon's here. <laughs> That's what Desmond said. She usually is at some point. All right, let me get some hand sanitizer. Got to keep it germ free. All right, next up, I have this one in two colors. I'm actually going to show you the rose gold one first. This one is called Modern Minimalist. Did you feed Danny so he doesn't get grumpy? Modern Minimalist in rose gold. So these are two layers of hammered rose gold discs. This one has a small white rhinestone down in this corner. Hi, Violet. Glad you could make it. Are you feeling any better? 
two layers of chain. The earrings are the white rhinestones in a fish hook back. You did. That's great. So now Danny can't be grumpy and he'll let you buy more jewelry, right? Or is that not how that works? So this one, that top layer lays right below that collar, about a quarter inch. You can see the little hem peeking out there. And then our other one lays about an inch and a half below that collar. With the two inch extension, you can bring that one down here, the top one down here. And then the bottom one is gonna sit right in here somewhere along the top of the bust. I also have that one available in the black metal. So here you can see the rhinestones a little bit better. That white rhinestone down in the corner of these discs, the hammered discs. So I have two in black, two in rose gold. These are called Modern Minimalist. In black or in rose gold, number 23. Jane says it's 73 there in windy. Okay, the breeze makes it feel good. Let me just take care of some people who don't behave themselves on here. We don't allow rude comments. So you will be blocked in, deleted. There we go. Now we're back where we started. I like it better quiet in here. Yes, Violet, it's about 86 here too. It's hot. And we have our air conditioning on and it still feels hot. This one is in full orbit, rose gold. I have two of these as well. So these are also those asymmetrical type circles. So they have a little bit more thickness on the bottom than on the top. Also just some regular gold rings. These asymmetrical ones have a brushed appearance on the bottom. So I don't know if you can see it. I guess just barely. You can tell that's brushed and not a super polished ring. The earrings are the polished gold rings, rose gold. Let's make this one lay right. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With a two inch extension, it's going to come down about here. I don't think so, Helen, but if you want to, we can check that for you, okay? So with the two inch extension, it's down about mid chest or top of the bust. This is in full orbit in rose gold. And it will be number 24. And number 25, I just had to put in here, see if I can get it off. This is actually one of our most popular necklaces. Okay, you put Helen down for that one and I will check it and make sure that she doesn't have it already. See if I can get it to lay flat. It's been in the packaging a little bit. So, so remember what I told you that if these don't lay flat, you can use the hair dryer on low to make it lay flat. It looks like I need to do that with this one or put it on the curved bust maybe. It'll look a little bit better. This is one of our blockbusters, one of our most popular necklaces. It's called Leading Lady, not Leading Lady. Um, I didn't put a tag on it. I, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Can you look through that second uh, green bin right there? There's one in a package. I just cannot think of the name of it right now. But this is done in kind of an ombre pattern. So we have the smaller white creamy pearls up here, a little bit larger pearls here. Lady and weighty, that's what it is. You know, it was lady something. And then the light gray pearly beads here and a little bit darker gray pearly beads in the center. The earrings are the darker gray pearly beads on a fish hook back. This is a very classy looking necklace when it's laying flat. 
<laughs> like it should be. Gonna have to warm this one up. I just leave it on Linda for a little while. It should warm up. But you see how much better it looks on her than it did on that very flat bust. So this one's about an inch and a half below that collar. With the two inch extension, it's gonna come down right here above the bust, right at the top of the bust. So this is Lady in Waiting. And the three colored pearls, it's number 25. All right, that makes it time for another question. Ooh. Let's take Answer number four on this one. Answer number four. Tell me a way you might dry your hands in a public restroom. A way you might dry your hands in a public restroom. I think I've done all these except the last one. On your clothes, that's number three. Helen got it. Shake them. You got that right off the bat. That was good. Air. Okay. I guess that would work when you're shaking them. But the dryer, yes, the hand dryer was number one, of course. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Paper towels. And the last one, this is the one I have not done. And it's because I think it would dissolve too easily. Toilet paper. Toilet paper was the last one. Don't know about that. Has anybody dried their hands with toilet paper? Does that work? I would think it would just fall apart. Okay, these are Mediterranean Magic. These are a white dewy bead. So they are not translucent. They're like a cloudy or a dewy round bead. And then we have silver textured teardrops hanging off the bottom. These are not moonstones, but they're a similar appearance. This is the size and the length. So these are Mediterranean magic. Let me see if I can get you in up close. There we go. So semi-transparent. These are number 26. Two pairs of these available. Toilet seat covers. <laughs> All right. These are rounded out. Rounded out in copper. 26 to Daisy. I'm sorry, Daisy. That's just what came in. These are textured antique copper, so the dark copper, two freely moving rings, one inside the other. They're on an antique copper fish hook back. This is the size. You're out of control. I don't think you're even close yet. If you were buying $100 jewelry, maybe. These are called rounded out. An antique copper and they're 27. At least you'll have a really nice earring collection for Esley to steal. Because we all know she does it. She puts pictures of it on Facebook and says, these are Daisy's earrings. <laughs> I mean, if she's gonna do it, she ought not to taunt you. And these are Private Villa in pink. This is the last pair of earrings I'm showing. Number 27 to Marlo. These are a marquee shaped light pink bead inside an antique silver frame it has the little scrolls all around the outside and then we have these kind of pear-shaped beads on the bottom in that same opaque light pink i just have one pair of these they're called private villa this is the size And these are going to be number 28. I 
I'm trying to talk them into it, Jane. I figure between the three sisters, even if they didn't sell anything, if they just bought theirs at the at the wholesale price, they'd save money, right? And if you split that kit three ways, you really wouldn't pay much more than you pay per week for the jewelry that you claim. So, you know, our kits start at $99 for 35 pieces. So it's not a bad way to get yourself some discount jewelry. And you know, of course, Jane would buy from you because <laughs> you're right there near her. Right, Jane? All right, this one is Fluent in Affluence. This is my last one of these. It is also in a light pink. These are light pink wavy ovals with an iridescent finish on them. So they're transparent, but they also have the iridescent finish along with these light pink pearly beads. It's two strands with these marquee shaped uh, ovals in silver in between. <laughs> Jane's not getting herself in trouble. <laughs> the earrings are the light pink pearly beads on a fish hook back. So this is how this one lays. Our first strands up around the collarbones. Second one down about half an inch from that collar. With the two inch extension, you could bring that down and it's gonna lay between here and here. So kind of taking up that middle of the chest to lower chest. Real estate, prime real estate. <laughs> this is fluent in affluence. And these iridescent beads are really much prettier than you can even see on here. It's one of my favorites. Number 29, I just don't wear pink. I don't know. Number 30. We're going to go to 35 tonight and then we're going to be done. Oh, you're going to die of starvation, Caitlin? She said she's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this one is treasure teas in silver. So we have lots of little hammered silver rings. They're hung double. So we get extra, extra ring bling with this one. They're on a silver chain. The earrings are single silver hammered rings on a fish hook back. Jane just doesn't want Jeff to kill her. That's what it is. This one's hanging about a quarter inch as well below that collar. With the two inch extension, it's gonna come down about mid chest. So this one is Treasure Tees. Love the hammered metal because it allows it to reflect the light differently because of the textured surface. So this one's number 30. Two of those available. Ooh, this one's interesting. Let's go with answer number five on this one. You cannot hide any more jewelry. <laughs> you need to start giving it away, Jane. That's what mom has started doing. She's like weeded out. You know, we all get our favorites or things that we wear all the time because they happen to match, you know, most of our clothes. So she started weeding out the things that she's not wearing as much or decided she didn't like as much as something else. And she started giving it away to people. So that makes room you know, in the jewelry cabinet for more. Just get a couple of your, your two daughters. They can just steal some out of your jewelry box and then you'll be fine. All right, we're going to take answer number five on this question. If you could be a doctor for a day, tell me something you'd look most forward to. What's the thing you'd look most forward to if you could be a doctor for a day? See, Violet gave a bunch of hers away today and brightened somebody's day. It's always a good thing to give. $5 jewelry makes a great gift and it always looks like it costs more. So that's a bonus. The pay. Yes, that was number one. Surgery was number three. Surprising number of people look forward to performing surgery. The pay is definitely the biggest bonus. 
good parking space. <laughs> I don't think that was on here. Um, I'm looking. He thinks someone good news. That's a nice one. Wasn't on here. Getting your hip fixed. Helping someone was number two. Writing your own prescriptions. I would love to do that too, Terry. I've got several in mind. Doing stitches. You want to give stitches, Helen? You didn't get to do that as a nurse? They didn't let you stitch up anybody? I want to write the prescriptions. That's what I want to do. The white coat. Hey, we all look good in the white coat, right? Because it covers a multitude of sins. We haven't gotten there yet. We actually got three that we haven't gotten yet. And one of them is number five. And actually, I'm not sure the doctor does this anymore. Most of the time, it's the nurse that does it. You could do stary strips, but they wouldn't let you stitch. Okay. I keep stary strips here at home. You buy a new car. I don't go to the doctor for stary strips. If it doesn't need to be stitched, we're not going anywhere. Shots. Shots was number five, Helen. See, you knew that because you gave the shots, right? What um, department did you work in, Helen, when you were nursing? What was your specialty? The other two were going golfing and vacationing. So everybody wants to do that like a doctor. All right, this one I just bought one of. This one is called Notorious Noble. This is a longer necklace. So we have a large teardrop shaped faceted rhinestone. The teardrop has some smaller round rhinestones embedded in it. Okay, so you did home health with the vents and trachs. Okay. Give you an idea what that looks like and geriatrics. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, we very much appreciated the home health nurses that came when that sister was here in hospice with us. These are white rhinestone earrings in a silver setting on a fish hook back. Okay, so this one's in with the longer necklaces, but you see that it is kind of a mid length, it's hanging right below the bust. But you do have that two inch extension, so if you wanted to bring that down further it's going to come down about mid to lower abdomen. So about down here. You can also shorten this up a little bit more by hooking your lobster clasp into that chain and pull it up just a little bit. So this one is Notorious Noble. And I just have one of these. Don't know why I only ordered one. It had to be a mistake. This is number 31, because I don't think I ever order only one of anything unless it might be a ring that's for somebody specific. So I probably meant to hit two and it just didn't go. This one is called Independent Idol. Independent Idol. So this is a pink bead, hot pink, round bead with the silver fanning out from there. It reminds me of a chief's headdress, but upside down. Also studded with these silver beaded studs. And now I'm repeating myself, but I couldn't think of anything else to call them. The little round dots in silver. They call it studded. The earrings are also the opaque pink beads in a hot pink. This one, I'm going to have to move it back for again. So this one hangs down to that dropped waist. With the two inch extension, it's going to come down here into the lower belly. You could also, with the sliding chain, shorten this one and wear it up here if you wanted it to be able to be seen for a Zoom meeting or other video conferencing right now, since we're doing a lot of that. So this one is independent idol. And it is in pink, number 32. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
number 33. This is Bell of the Ballroom. I have this in this green. It's over to the side. I have not watched it yet, Jane, so don't give it away. I've heard a little bit about it. We just haven't gotten a chance to yet today. This is the pearly green, large round bead with the large tassel coming down from the bottom. The earrings are the pearly green beads on a fish hook back. I also have one of these in the hot pink that I'll show you. This one hangs down with the bead in the upper abdomen. Our tassel hangs down to the mid abdomen. You do have the two inch extension that would bring it down to the dropped waist. You could also pull this up by hooking your lobster clasp into that chain and pulling it up a bit to have it up at the bust. So I have one in green and I have one in this bright pink. It's like a lipstick pink. So this is Belle of the Ballroom in green or in pink. So the two colors, they're gonna try to wind around them themselves. There we go, green or pink, number 33. There we go. Number 34, I decided to bring out another one of our blockbusters, because this one I don't show very often. This one I know Marlowe has. It's just a little bit different for a necklace and I kind of like that sometimes. So this is called fishing for compliments. And it's because the chain is shaped to kind of have that net like appearance. It's all connected. So it would make like a little bib necklace. It has white rhinestones all over in it to give it some sparkle. We also have this in gold, and I have that one available too. The earrings are that same chain with a white rhinestone at the top of it on a fish hook back. I'm gonna put this one on Linda, and then I'll show you the gold one. I want you to see how this lays. So again, this lays kind of like that bib across the front of her blouse. It's about two inches or an inch and three quarters below that collar. With the two inch extension, you could bring that down to have it over the bust area. I think this one's gonna work a little bit better on the curved bust as well. So this, I'll use that one. This is that same necklace in gold. So these are fishing for compliments in gold or in silver, number 34. And we have no limit to those because they are blockbusters, so I can reorder if we need more, but I keep a couple on hand. So that's number 34. And last but not least, we are at number 35 before Caitlin decides to pass out over here from extreme, extreme hunger because you know I starve her all day long until dinner time she's nodding her head over here she makes me no letting you know no meals are made no meals okay yeah no meals at all during the day so that she will eat her dinner that's what that's about let me get this one to lay right this one is rebel remix rebel remix in silver so this is also a fringe necklace this is a combination of silver chain and silver faceted beads. Also do have this available in the black metal. I don't have that out right now, but I do have it available. The earrings are a little strand of those same silver faceted beads on the chain on a fish hook back. This is the length of that one. So about an inch below that collar makes a very nice fringe across your blouse or your dress. With the two inch extension, you could bring that down. The top of it's gonna be about right here and the bottom right about here. So again, taking up that lower chest right above the bust. So I have two of these available in silver and I also have a black. This is called Rebel Remix. And it is going to be 
Number 35. Number 35. I don't know what happened. I was just thinking it was Sunday for some reason. I guess because it's the end of the week and Sunday's the end of my week. But I got the days confused. So we will have another show on Sunday at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. So invite your friends who haven't come to see paparazzi jewelry yet or haven't been introduced to it. We'll have a little contest to see who can bring someone with them. Whoever brings the most people is going to win an extra pair of uh, extra piece of free jewelry this week. So for Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, whoever brings the most people with them will get an extra free piece of jewelry. If it's more than five people, I'll give you two pieces. So that gives you something to look forward to on Sunday. And let's see, what else do I need to tell you? I don't think anything because it's only Friday. So thank you so much for sharing some of your evening with us. Uh, have a good weekend, have a safe weekend, and hopefully have some fun as well, get some things done. We'll see you all on Sunday. Bye-bye now.